This is Yeni Alvarez. She doesn't really look like other weightlifters. She's athletic, long-limbed, she's super ripped, and you'd probably be forgiven for thinking that she was a track athlete, a sprinter, perhaps. But she's not. She's an amazing weightlifter, a three-time Pan American champion, a previous world medalist, and in about a week's time from this training session, she's going to try a hand becoming the world number one. And she's up with it. It comes down to this. But Yeni Alvarez has a problem because this is her last heavy training session before competing against the most dominant, the most well-known, one of the most unbeatable weightlifters in the world, Kuo Sim Chen. But what makes the battle between Kuo and Yeni all the more interesting is that Yeni took the silver medal behind Kuo Sim Chen at the World Championships the year before this in 2021. But this year, this year was different because this year, Yeni was going to be competing in her home country in front of a home crowd. But let's raise the stakes and increase the drama once more, because here's something that most people don't know about Yeni Alvarez and Kuo Sing Chen. Up until this World Championships, they had only battled it out against each other twice. Once in 2014 at the World Champs, and once in 2021 at the World Champs, as I just mentioned. And it's one all. It's 1-1. One -one. It's a draw. That's right, Yeni Alvarez beat Kuo Sun Chun in 2014, but Kuo beat Yeni in 2021. Sure, Kuo won another three World Championship titles and an Olympic Games and set all the world records in between those two meetings, but let's ignore that because, well, I'm trying to build a bit of a narrative here. By the way, if you're enjoying these videos, these battles, stories, insights, then please subscribe so that we can move well into the 100k subscriber region with some good velocity. Speaking of velocity, that's one of the things that Yeni Alvarez really has going for her. She's fast. She might not have the strength of Kuo Sung Chun, but she does have amazing speed, crazy athleticism, and solid mobility. But she also has heart. She has passion, fire, determination. And in combination, these things add up to something that cannot be discounted on the international stage. And in this training session, Yeni Alvarez showed us the kind of shape she was in. Also, at the end of this video, you're gonna see one of the most spine-tingling moments I've ever witnessed in weightlifting. You might already know what that is, but I highly recommend you sit and watch this story come to a close. In this session, Yeni Alvarez is going heavy. Basically up to our openers in the snatch, pushing right up close to that 100 kilo, 220 pound mark, and then the same in the clean and jerk, up close to the 130 kilo, 286 pound area, plus some really heavy front squats. By the way, just a quick message to let you all know that the weightlifting house straps, both our fast release house straps and our longer Chinese style elite straps, are back in stock all over the world. If you want to be a weightlifter, you have to use straps. So go get the straps that are trusted by world record holders all the way to general gym users. The link is below. Prior to this, the best lifts we'd ever seen from her in competition was a 102 kilo, 224 pound snatch, which she'd hit a couple of months prior, winning the Pan American Championships for the third time. And a 130 kilo, 286 pound clean and jerk. Yeni's focus and fire in this session was that of someone very much aware of the potential for a magical moment in coming. If she was ever in a position to win a world title, then it was very much going to happen here, in front of her home crowd. I think it's very normal for people, particularly those not within the sport of weightlifting, to have a picture in their mind of what a weightlifter looks like. And from my experience talking with those sorts of people, Yeni Alvarez does not fit that picture. However, the reality of it is that in a weight class sport, low body fat is a bit of a predictor of success. And as the sport has changed and matured over the years, so too have the more obvious physical attributes like height and limb length. It seems to be that taller athletes in weight categories, taller lean athletes, are having a bit of a moment right now. Carlos Nassar and Antonino Pizzolato are both tall and dominate the 89s. Laradana Toma dominates the 64s. Lesman Paredes dominates the 96s. Lasher dominates the supers. Longer limbs to support the pulling mechanics seems to be in at the moment, at least more so than they used to be. And so Yeni Alvarez completed this training session very much aware that this was her last opportunity to feel out these heavy 95%-ish weights before the day came where she'd have to lift the 100% weights 
or in the case of her final lift of the competition, the most important lift of her career, the most spine tingling commentating moment of mine, a 102.3% of her best lift. To not just defeat Kuo Sung Chun and become a world champion, but also to move up ahead of her in their one-on-one -on -one battles. It's 2-1, Yeni Alvarez versus Kuo Sung Chun. Subscribe for more. This is one of the most incredible atmospheres, yeah, moments I've been a part of in this sport. She's beckoning the crowd to yell, and they're doing just that. The entire hopes and dreams of a nation rest on her shoulders here. This is the six kilo personal best if she makes it. It will move her from silver to gold. She's got 20 seconds on the clock. The crowd now needs to quieten down and give her a moment. And she's up with it. It comes down to this. Wow, and Yeni Alvarez is the world champion in front of her home nation. Collapses to the platform. Everyone in the crowd on their feet, jumping around. Just absolute magic here in Bogota. I cannot believe it. What a performance. That was incredible.